Ceramic coating seems like one of those buzzwords that you can only mutter if you're an expert detailer. And it comes with a whole host of other buzzwords to describe its benefits like Water beads up and rolls off Invisible layer of protection Never clean your bike again Bring back your paint's original shine and depth Waxing is a thing of the past This is the main reason why I've never looked into ceramic coatings in the past too much BS marketing that seems too good to be true. But I finally got tricked by some next level psychological marketing. You'll understand when you see it. Just got this thing ceramic coated and water don't even stick to it now. Okay, fine, it was just a stupid TikTok trend that piqued my interest because it made me laugh. But either way, I've finally given in to the ceramic coating trend. Water don't even stick to it now. So today I'm going to try it on two of my bikes to see if it's worth ceramic coating your motorcycle when you leave the marketing terms behind. So this was actually a spur of the moment purchase the other day at a car show. It's just a generic local brand that I have no idea if it's any good or not. But what I seem to gather from reading between the lines is that once applied, a ceramic coating is kind of like a stronger and longer lasting wax or polish. It's kind of like having a case on your phone. It doesn't make it indestructible, but it's an extra layer of protection that gives you peace of mind. Well, although this case is rugged, its real party trick is this notch at the back because it's from Quadlock who have sponsored today's video. If you look closely, you'll notice both these bikes have a Quadlock mount on them that slots perfectly into the notch on the back of my phone or their universal adapters, which secures it to the handlebars. You can now ride around with Google Maps at your fingertips, control your music on the go, or anything you fancy in either orientation you require. They make a mount for every bike. This is their new clutch or brake lever mount, and this is their brake reservoir mount, both of which are quick and easy to install. They also offer a vibration dampener for newer phones, so there's no need to worry about damaging fancy mechanical camera systems. And when the ride is over, simply press this tab and twist. So follow the link in the description to find a mount to suit your bike and a phone case solution. Ceramic coatings seem to be based on silicon dioxide. Most ceramics contain silica, aka silicon dioxide, which explains the name. What I am interested in is its UV protection. Years of sun exposure does eventually dull the paint, so this will make me feel slightly less guilty when my bike sits in the sun for a few hours. It will supposedly add a barrier between bird droppings or tree sap if you park your bike under a tree for some shade. In theory, water should then form droplets and keep moving since the coated paint is trying to repel it. And dirt should also have an easier time sticking to water droplets than to the ceramic coating. So in theory, it should just roll off with water droplets. To be honest, it's difficult to explain without their buzzwords. But even if it's just a little bit true, the bike should stay a tad cleaner and be easier to clean once dirty. Since this is technically a stronger layer of wax, you won't need to wax or polish your paintwork while the coating is on. But I'm really hoping that it makes my least favorite job easier to do, which is drying the bike after washing. You've seen me try to find lazier ways to dry my bike in the past, and I haven't given up yet. It's important to know that it comes in quite a few different forms. I imagine the best option is the most expensive option, where you take your bike to a professional who applies it for you, and it should last a couple of years. There's a middle option in a little bottle that you dab on an applicator and apply yourself. And this looks to be the easiest option. It's in a spray bottle and seems to double as a detailer as well. The trade-off for easy application and probably a cheaper price tag is that it will only last a few months. So let's try apply it to my Yamaha MT-09 and Aprilia RS125. The MT might be painful because it's a naked bike with lots of crevices, but the Aprilia should be very easy because it's little and 90% fairings. The most important part before application is prep. The bike needs to be as clean as possible and free of previous layers of wax. Any remnants of chain lube or dirt will compromise the effectiveness of the ceramic coating. This is where the spray bottle makes the job a lot easier. 
You just spray some on a microfiber cloth, as well as a little on the bike. You then wipe it on in straight lines rather than swirls and wait for it to start to haze over. Once you see it starting to haze, you can wipe it off once again in straight lines. The Aprilia paintwork is quite old now and would be difficult to replace, so any form of protection is appreciated. The coating can be applied to plastic, metal and even glass, but not the seats. And this bike is almost 20 years old, so it's seen a lot of sun. But if we can prevent plastic pieces like the intake and the windscreen from getting any more sun damage, it will be beneficial. That means it can be used on both the MT's headlight housing and lenses, even on areas like the fork tubes that are exposed on a naked bike. But the place I think it could be most useful is under the tail, where dirt seems to accumulate very quickly on bikes. It doesn't, however, mention anything about being exposed to heat. So, although the exhaust is metal, I'm not sure how it will react. But if it doesn't mind the heat, the extra protection from road grime should stop the headers from rusting. That also means that it could technically be used on your helmet as well, which could be beneficial in the rain if water does simply run off your visor instead of having to wipe it with your hand every five seconds to be able to see. Now, there are a lot of unrealistic expectations with these coatings. Obviously, companies want you to buy their products, so they try to make them sound as impressive as possible. But a ceramic coating won't hide scratches that were already there. But if you want proper protection from stone chips, paint protection foam is a much better option because it is thicker. But interestingly enough, you can ceramic coat on top of PPF and I guess get twice the protection. So I tried to ride through as much water and dirt as I could find yesterday after I applied the coating. And you won't be surprised to learn that dirt does still stick. But in fairness, it also seems to fall off pretty easily and requires less rubbing with a cloth to dislodge. I could also smell it on the exhaust as it started to get hot, but I can't seem to rub any of the rust off today, so I think there is still a coating covering it, which is a good sign. The paint definitely feels smoother to the touch and looks shinier, but I think any paint would after that much TLC. It is however very slippery on the tank, and I struggle to squeeze the tank with my knees as a result, so I guess it's now protected against me as well, and I didn't even know I was a threat. I then sprayed water on the Aprilia's half-coated tank, and you can see the coated side forming slightly bigger droplets but only marginally, and they're not running off on their own without persuasion. However, it is visibly drier on the coated side after just a single pass with a towel, suggesting water is being repelled. I also can't vouch for its UV protection because it's only been one day, and I will admit that my application probably wasn't very consistent. But in my defense, a motorcycle is a very strange shape to work with. Ultimately, you can see that it's doing the bare minimum of what it's supposed to do, but you get what you pay for. This was the cheap and cheerful approach, which was exactly what I wanted, but I have no doubt that the more expensive and professional options will do all the same things, but better. For me, I think it was worth it, but it's definitely not a must-have for everybody. Not because it doesn't do what it says it will do, but more because it depends on your lifestyle. If you have a bike that you really care about keeping clean and looking after, it might be worth it. If you have an interest in detailing or enjoy cleaning your bike, and the idea of applying and experimenting with a ceramic coating sounds like fun to you, then it's completely worth it. But if none of this interests you, it sounds like a lot of effort or a waste of money, then don't bother. It's all a bit of fun on these bikes, but if I bought a brand new R1, I would rather get paint protection full. So I'll probably reapply it in 3 months, but when this bottle is finished, I won't be in a hurry to replace it. But anyway, let me know if you've ever tried ceramic coatings, or if you will after this. Share this video with a friend whose bike is always filthy, and I'll see you on the next ride.